Hey, welcome back to the ham guys. This is Dino your host. I know I haven't been posting many actual YouTube videos I've been doing a lot of shorts and uh, other videos traveling going to skate parks kind of talking about skate parks um, Love to do this new segment. I got this new segment. I want to do and that's about How we created our Effingham City Jam contest uh, how, how it's grown and how it's so big and in 2024 it's looking like I'm gonna have to not really reject companies from setting up, but I have to be careful on who I allow setting up because of the room we have and just the, the way things are going right now. It's 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 really great. It's it's such it's grown to this level, and it's it's unreal to be saying that it's happening in Effingham. Uh, shout out to Character Skateboards. Uh, that's my uh, deck company I'm riding for right now. Really fortunate to have them. They're going to be a huge part of 2024's contest. There's a lot of companies that are going to be a part of 2024's contest, so be on the lookout for every name you hear. I'm going to announce them all, but my segment today is going to start a long segment of of um, videos where I want to start today, and I want to explain like how my little podunk contest 14 or 15 years ago has turned into this, you know, zenith, uh, you know, my the top contests around from you know, all over in the, in the Midwest, I feel like it's a really great contest. I get to give a lot of money away to really good top am skaters who compete in all the damn ams, Tampa ams, uh, really big names come. Steve Barrow was here last year. Shout out Steve, shout out Tyler Peterson, shout out all their companies. Uh, appreciate Kara Uma, all those guys. Um, what I want to get started with was, let's see, 14, 15 years ago, I would have been like, 35, 25, you know, around 20. Um, we started competing, you know. We were just going to other towns, and we were getting to compete in, like, the Gatorade Free Flow Contest, the, you know, the smaller AM events, and we're like, man, these are so fun. Like, it would be so cool just to go home and throw a contest of our own. And uh, when you look at Effingham's Park back then, literally they just got uh, a slab of concrete, four ramps, and a couple of rails and a bench, maybe. And we we didn't care, man. We were happy. We were so happy. But I'm like, wouldn't it be cool to be able to just to give away a deck, with some wheels and some bearings, or like anything, just, just to have it. Because like, then you could have a beginner, an intermediate, and advanced, and it's not like it's a huge event. And we did it. I can't remember everything because it's so long ago. We didn't really film much because we didn't have what we have today. And it was amazing. Like, I know it was in, like, we we had a contest in May. And you don't you don't really want to have a contest in, I mean, it's hard to have a contest in spring, which obviously I've learned, um, unless you're having, like, two or three a year, which is coming to that. But right now, I'm trying to remember, we had, we had like, you know, 30 competitors, I'd say. And back then, that was awesome. The park was kind of packed. We had tents and everything set up, but we had no sponsors. We had no sponsors. I, and the money was out of my pocket. Um, majority of the years for the start, it was hard to get sponsors. So one that I want, one example that I like to use is I remember one of our very first decent years, it's like three or four years in, I'm like, man, I'm just going to put 300 bucks of my own money in and just buy more prizes. So it's extra and see how it goes. And I, I charge like five bucks per person. And I, got, I think I got my money back, maybe, but I, I highly doubt it. I didn't care because I just loved the event. It was so awesome. But I was trying to actually compete in it too. Learned very quickly, you know, you cannot compete in your own event. But back then, I just wanted to skate. Learned to just start facilitating, be on the mic, do my thing, help the kids. Um, and, and it worked. I had to sit down. I had to go take a seat and be on the mic. And, and I learned that that's somebody's got to do it and I'm fine with that I'm fine with that um a few years go by a couple people roll past like bigger names in the town they're like hey what do you what do you guys got going on out here you have some tents and stuff music and I'm like yeah it's our skate contest you know and a couple big names in town went and bought pizzas and chips for everybody and I was like I was like in awe I couldn't believe it I was so happy and I was like man that was so cool the next year you know a few names started coming around and uh, sponsors wise, little little sponsors, and um, I had a few kids come from St. Louis and Assumption, Champaign, further and further away, and that they knew that we were kind of throwing it correctly, and I had really good judging, and 
and how we were throwing the jams. It was just all flowing really well, you know. It was awesome. Uh, prizes weren't crazy yet, but I had a couple parents come, and they just they just really wanted to push their kid. And not not not. Nah, I said that wrong. They wanted to. Their kid wanted to compete, so they brought their kid over, and they loved the way things were going at our contest. So they were like, they handed their kid this money, and they're like, "Hey, um, we want you to. I, I love what you're doing. Thank you. We." put this towards the money you give away today and that little bit really sparked me it made me realize hey like parents were coming up to me from St. Louis and they were coming up and they were like hey man we really like the way you're running this contest like not a lot of them are are as as structured and and, you know your infrastructure everything you got going on it's really precise I really like that you're staying on time and you're you know you're you're keeping on it and, and it's judged very well and all this and I'm not trying to like boast on the way I do things, but I do put a lot of pride and a lot of hard work into the contest that I throw. And I think if you've never been there, don't judge me by saying what I'm saying because I will promise you I know what I'm doing at contests after 14, 15 years. Do I have it down like uh, skate park example? I mean that's that's a hard bargain to, right there. I mean they're they're the top. They're the, they're you got. Some of the people I look up to my whole life, like Brian Schaefer and Paul Zitzer, and, you know, they're judging as pros. It's amazing. Like, my dream is to be that good. Um, We're getting there. Um, You know, having live YouTube videos. While I film this, I would love to put YouTube live on my whole contest next year or this year on my YouTube channel. That's my goal. Multiple angles. Who's up next? You know, all my damn M riders who come here, I'd love for you guys to be able to watch it on here. Um... But what I'm getting at, I'm going to start, I'm going to go back. I might have some pictures here. I hope I find some. If not, sorry. But the beginning phase of this contest, it was so fun. And it still is to today. Um, But the years start rolling. And I'm like, I really got to get this stuff straight. I learned a few more sources of my town were like, hey, why don't you ask the city for some money? Uh, That way you can get more prizes. I'm like, hmm. Okay, well, what I learned really quickly before that happened was I, I asked I asked other bigger names in town, in, in the city, and I didn't really get much input back, and I can't really complain. I didn't, ex- I shot for the, st- I didn't shoot for the stars, really. I was just like, whatever I get, I get. And we went, and we, we asked, and then the first thing I thought about was like, man, let's get some statistics. Let's do some numbers. Um... <clears throat> so, but what I will say, I got a probably 250 from the city, and that was amazing to me. I was I was way ecstatic about that. So I got a couple others, and I had like over a thousand dollars, and I got a few good sponsors to give me prizes, and we had a decent amount of stuff to give away. And actually, what really got me, actually, it was before it was after that. But Monster Energy, I had some you know those names like I went to other v- events. I'm gonna tell you that I went to other events, got some sources. I mean, I'm telling you. It's all about who you know, and t- I really want to say all the sponsors that I have today, but a couple of them, uh, they don't really, they give me their info, and they send me free stuff, but they don't say, hey, throw my name on the flyer. That's kind of, that's a touchy subject, because I get people that reach out to me, like, how do you have so-and-so as a sponsor? How did you get that? How do they show up? How do they? What, how is that? And that right there comes from you putting together a contest and doing it yourself, like, it's it's got to be you doing the work, and I'm telling you, the harder you work on it, the luckier you're gonna get on that. Uh, and that's literally all I got to say. Um, you start putting in the time, you're gonna get the resources. It's it's just gonna come. Um, and especially if you're doing it right, it's gonna come. Um, I've reached out a few of you um, that have asked for help, and I've explained that to you guys. And look what happened. You guys did the work. So I was gonna get back to that. So basically, I got that. I got those little sponsors. And it made it awesome. I kept data. I kept all the competitors, where everyone came from, <sighs> like how many hotels stayed. You have to keep all of the data, write it all down, and then the next year you go with all of this data to the city. You go to you know these bigger name com- um, companies in your town, people you may want to sponsor. Keep it all. Be like, hey, look, look at all these people. Look at all these younger kids. Look at all these younger girls and boys. Look what it's doing for our community. You you got to keep all that, and you got to show what you're doing. You got to take pictures, take videos, make 
you know, motivational stuff about your city, why it's helping your town, how it's helping the youth. All of that matters. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but if you really want it, you, you got to put the, the work in. And it's just turned into this massive contest. And people, I'm going to tell you, the louder you are, the more people listen. Like, if you're confident and you're passionate about what I'm talking about right now and you want to be doing that, just be loud. Um, if you're ever worried about making a video or making that post, just do it. Like, there's no chance in hell it's going to be bad for what you're what what you're wanting. I promise. So don't don't, don't be scared for that. And if you have any questions, reach out. This is just the first video. I haven't even started on how I begin preparing for this contest. Like today, I, you know, this month I'm picking the date. I'm reaching out to my top primary sponsors, making sure that date works. I'm reaching out to my city. I'm reaching out to everyone who assists with me. I'm, there's a million things on my list that I'd never write down that I probably should, but it, it's, it, it's all up here and it's not a good thing. I need to put it on my computer. I have a list, I, I need to keep it in order, but it's so embedded in my brain after 15 years it's all there. I just forget the order of, of what I do it and, and when I usually start it. But now nah, the flyer is huge. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that real quick. My flyer sucks. It doesn't suck. My flyer's got all the information I need. It's got every sponsor's name on it. And I don't really care how bad it looks. It's going to look bad. You know why? Because when I begin, it, there's a shitload of sponsors. When I end, there's even more sponsors. So I'm just literally adding in sponsors and like I'm okay with that because I got to keep putting more names on there that are giving us money and prizes and product to give away. So it's not a bad thing. Uh, it's actually amazing. It's really fun to deal with. It's a good problem to have. Um, but I'd really like to keep this rolling. I can't wait to tell you more on when I start. So my next segment, I think I'm going to go into... Okay, I'm about to make the flyer. I'm about to reach out to my sponsors. What's my next step? That's going to be my next one. And I know a lot of you guys are starting your contests this year. You're doing bigger contests. Um, reach out to me. <sighs> um, ask me questions that I can answer. I can do that too. And how I, I mean, you can, you can ask me how I've got Monster Energy, how I got, you know, these liquid deaths. How, how, how do they trust you? in the the process you know how do they just not know you're sending you know product just for you to just to keep for yourself um it's a it's a touchy subject but it's a really cool problem it, or it's a really cool thing to talk about if it's one-on-one -on -one. maybe i'll talk about it in our next segment it's just really cool it's really cool um yeah i'm gonna end it on that but i appreciate you um listening if you want to hear more i'm gonna have another segment too Hopefully this end of the week, if not started next week, we'll see. I like talking about it, but I got to get started on it so I can explain what's next. So I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks to all my sponsors. I need to get those sponsors on here and like figure out. I don't even know. I need to reach out and get some actual sponsors like everybody else does on YouTube. And one of these days, it'd be cool to get paid on YouTube, wouldn't it? But I got these guys. Thanks, Character Skateboards. Thanks, Xtreme. Thanks, huh, Bearings. Thanks, Superfly. Oh, who else? Thanks, all the supporters. Thanks, every local skateboarder who comes to my event. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.